take a look at my my medical records after I, I'm in I'm in uh, uh, from the hot after I saw the fight with Big John McCarthy. Go back and see that fight. I had like 500 milliliters of blood in my lungs. I had aspirated that much that much blood. I swallowed that much blood. Inhaled that much blood in that time. Now mind you, your lungs are getting filled with blood. You can't get oxygen to your body, so I'm starting to slow down. So you see me. So my thought process in the fight in the fourth round is. I'm extremely tired. I told Randy Couture in my corner. John Lewis was also in my corner and said, look, guys, if this fight doesn't end in the fourth, I don't know if I can make it to the fifth. I'm falling apart out here. Like, don't worry about it. Go get it. Go get it. He goes, great. It's great. Go get it. Okay. So in the middle of the round, I go, I need a break. I need to take a cup, 10, 15 seconds out to catch my breath. I put myself in the corner. That's when Robbie hits me. I am exhausted. In my head, I have my hands up. I'm protecting my face. I'm completely fine. I watch the film, my hands are down on my hips, I take three straight shots to the head. Were you pissed off at all by the unnecessary uppercut Lola hit you with while you were unconscious when you guys fought? I don't even feel it. I'm out. I'm already out. My, I go, he uh, uh, stripped my vision in my left eye for like eight months or nine months after that fight because he wow. hit me with my eye open. I wow. couldn't see anything. I had no peripheral vision. In the basis of what that fight did, I went back and talked to a couple of people, talked to Big John, went back and had, some, had my doctors now, look at the medical records and do all that stuff. That fight nearly killed me. If I'd gone to the fifth round, I probably would have died in a stretcher on the way to the hospital. So that fight, when Emmett goes, what was your toughest fight? The Lawless fight. What's the one fight that you regret doing? The Lawler fight. What's the one fight that you wish you could have done differently? The Lawler fight. Because that fight changed me for the rest of my career and probably the rest of my life. It, that's, that's the, those, it's fights like that that cause dementia and, and concussion problems later in your life and give you Parkinson's and things like that that boxers are getting. That's, it's going through a bunch of fights like that that causes it, that causes that problem. So that Lawler fight is a fight that, no, was I mad at Lawler for uppercut of me? No, he's, a, he's, a, he's kind of a jerk anyway. You know, he's kind of a prick anyway. So it doesn't matter. Like, that, that's his style. That's his way. That's fine. You know, I, I, okay, he hit me when I was down. You have to keep going. to go over to Dana White and mention that you didn't know he was out when you landed the punch. Honey, Jason's a very respectful guy, somebody I respect. He's very humble. He represents very well, uh, Brazil very well. I have a lot of respect for him, but uh, the rep told me, no, don't stop until I pull you off. It's my job to come in here, and uh, I got to do my job. And when you talk about it, one of, one of the elements that comes in isn't the guy's wins and losses and his skills. It's also an intimidation factor. Right. You think that Bisping doesn't go to bed at night remembering what that was like, the teasing, the highlight reel, all the people, tw everybody telling him about, you Dan's know, making logo fun of him. Come on. is him flying through the air when he pounded Bisping Just after to hit he was one more unconscious. Time. Yeah. yeah. That's his logo. Yeah. I mean, it's his highlight reel knockout. I stayed at Dan Henderson's house for a month helping him train for Vitor, and when you turn Dan's TV off at night, the remote control says lights out and it's him hitting Bisping. That's what lights up. That's what lights up on his remote control. So, I mean, if you think Dan doesn't have confidence going into this, sure he has confidence. He knows he could beat him. He already did. And if you think Bisping's not going, man, I really don't want to be in there with that guy again. He's going to say, oh, I want that one back. And he's going to say all those things and try to convince himself. But the bottom line is, that's relevant. He just knocked Hector Lombard dead. Hector's tougher than hell. Hector's, Hector's never been given monster. the credit that he deserves. It's a monster. Monster. Fights in two different ways. Yeah, ridiculous power. And hurt him first. Hector came back, hurt Dan. Dan recovered and knocked him out with a crazy fucking elbow. And then uh, m m another shot when, once he moves basically out from that back elbow. Right.
career, you got maybe like a good solid. If you really take care of yourself, you got like 15 years. Unless you're Dan if, Anderson. If that, <laughs> that you guy's know? the man, dude. The Lombard fight. Yeah, I did. I was I was there live. I, I couldn't believe it, dude. I was going nuts. I, I've been God a fan damn. of his for so long. Real, real quiet, chill. Just uh, amazing guy, dude. Just hard worker. I mean, it, it's awesome to see that. And Lombard's a scary dude. He, and fuck, he dropped yeah, he him, is. and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You know, I'm like, dude, he's getting dropped. I'm like, no. Well, the way he knocked him out, too, was so crazy with that back elbow. Yeah, instincts, man. Uh huh. Yeah, no one's ever done that before. No one's ever knocked anybody. I mean, he was dead before he hit the ground. Yeah. No one's ever knocked anybody out with and a standing you know, Dan, back elbow. He, just, he, you know, he's gonna follow up with a couple blows. Oh yeah. You know, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you got to pull him off.